I had someone ask me to film a board repair and um, the repair on this is going to be pretty simple. Uh, either a repair or I'm just going to bypass some things to make this work. But I thought that the troubleshooting would be interesting as well. So this is on an LG Multi-V unit. The way that you put them in vacuum mode is to uh, activate these switches and then you power on the unit and it goes through uh, its boot up sequence and then it displays this 254 which means that it's it's taking your vacuum mode command while well, I was having a really hard time getting it into that vacuum mode and I want to show you kind of what what happens here so I need a I need a good ground reference in order to take these measure, measurements but I just noticed that uh, there's pads here And a lot of times when there's test pads right beside a component like a switch, it's so that you can test the switch inputs to the, to the board. So I'm going to go on this capacitor um, ground, this unpopulated space right here on the board. And um, I'm going to show you what a normal, so sorry, this is very hard to film. But I've, I've got five volts when the switch is off, but when the switch is on, I've got zero volts. So I've got these cut on and these all came to zero, fine. Then I go over here to the dip switch number 11. It's also pulling down that five volt reference. And then I go over here to the last switch, dip switch 14 and you can see my millivolts are higher than normal. Uh, I was reading like one volt. Uh, it was all the way up to five. So the fix for this a lot of times is just to exercise the switch. And I did that a few times. It's still not perfect. I might try to get some contact cleaner in there. But the problem is that this switch is not making good contact, okay? So if I go up here, all right, there you go. So we've got five volts right there with the switch in the on position. And so this switch is actually not working. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I'm just gonna flip my meter around to microamps DC. And that's just gonna make it like a like a jumper basically. And I'm gonna go on to my ground point and I'm gonna touch this pad right here. Now I'm you can see I'm pulling a little bit of uh, current off the chip, and I'm just telling the chip, I'm pulling its five volt signal to ground, and so I'm telling it to go into vacuum mode like that. And you see, when I release it, it's it's not, see it's not staying in vacuum mode because I'm actually acting like this switch right here by pulling this five volt reference to ground. I have another video on HVAC sensors and um, in there I explain how these circuits work. So, I'm gonna just see maybe if I can get some contact cleaner in this switch to make the switch work. Otherwise, I may have to solder a jumper on to get this thing to where it will stay in vacuum mode. All right, the board's booting up now. Let's see if it takes this vacuum mode signal. I got some contact cleaner in the switch, or tried to at least. 190, awesome, it took it. So now I've gotta tell it, yes, that is what I want. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, this has been an interesting day for sure.